pals, it's Sassy Cassie, and welcome back to another reaction video of Naruto. As always, I'd like to thank all of my subscribers and anyone watching this video. Thank you so much for watching and following me on my Shinobi journey. Second, as a reminder, or in case you are new to my channel, that even though I have been an anime fan for a very long time, I have never watched Naruto. However, because it has been out for so long because of the internet, and because one of my bestest friends in the whole world just loves Naruto, there are some things about it that I already know. This is mostly like character names, maybe what they look like, no real major plot points. It has come to my attention, however, that I may know more than I think I know, but I don't know what these things are until they come up in the show. So, I apologize in advance if this bothers anybody, but we are just going to keep watching Naruto and enjoying it to the fullest. So, recap. In the last episode, so many things happened. Sasuke, acting a fool, decides to go with Orochimaru because he wants the power to exact his revenge on his brother because he's chosen the path of revenge and not the path of the light of the Leaf Village. That is his decision, even though I believe it is wrong, but that is his decision. Meanwhile, Sakura did try to tell Naruto about the things that Orochimaru did to Sasuke, but he wasn't listening. And then Sakura tried to go stop Sasuke and even begged him to stay. And he was like, I'm not like you two. I have to go. Revenge is my only path. Thanks for caring. Karate chop. It's just... Uh, I mean, I just... I didn't think about this in the last video. But Naruto, like, he full-heartedly believes... That Sasuke would never do anything that Orochimaru, like, never fall victim to Orochimaru because he experienced Orochimaru with, with Tsunade, with the Sanin fight. And I adore how much faith he has in Sasuke, his friend. But... It just, it makes, I just, I don't want to see the look on his face when he realizes that Sasuke did. And Sakura knew. Sakura knew. She knew that something wasn't right in the universe. Her instincts, her spidey senses were tingling. Anyway, <laughs> all the feelings were had in the last episode. Well, maybe not all of them. I only teared up a little bit. Just a little. Okay? I was good. I know that it was mentioned that Sasuke things happen that he's not he's going down the path of darkness I guess but like he really he really joins Orochimaru to get revenge on his brother and how how is that whole curse mark going to work out for him later because again I know that him and Sakura end up together in the end still don't understand how that works but I know they end up together in Boruto, so how? Just how? Well, the real important question is, where is Lee? That's all I need to know to make this all go away and feel better. All right, we're just gonna start the episode because if we don't, we're. <laughs> Oh, right. Totally forgot about him being, like, a leader or whatever to this group of people that totally kicked his butt. And I really want to know if that was, like, accurate or if they're just egging him on so that he will still go with them. It looks like one of the crime scene photos in Criminal Minds. I don't like that. Oh no, they're gonna find her on the bench, aren't they? Go get him, huh? Huh? What is it? Oh no. Then they're gonna know. Then they're gonna know. <laughs> well, in any case, Lady Hokage, we have something to report. What is it? 
that Sasuke left and joined the Sound Village. I'm going to grind the hidden leaf village into dust. So that's what that wretch is after. He's going for the Uchiha's powers. Yeah, they're like totally... There's mm. somebody that I need to see. Shikamaru? But even a crab like your mom can be gentle sometimes. She has her moments. <clears throat> That's the reason. <laughs> You're too young to understand. Lady Hokage has sent a messenger to see you. Hmm? She wait, wait, wait. He just left? How could this happen? Simple. Orochimaru must have him in his clutches. Huh? What? Wait. That doesn't make any sense. Does he know about Orochimaru? Wait. Wait. I mean, I know that he's a Sanin, but still. I've decided it's time for you to carry out your first mission as a Chunin, Shikamaru. <gasps> so all I gotta <gasps> do is bring Sasuke back? As long as none of our enemies are with him, it shouldn't be that big a deal. Why is she putting Shikamaru in charge? Is it because they're the same age? Why is she why? Why is she putting Shikamaru in charge? That Sasuke is being guarded by Orochimaru's men. Damn. This is gonna be a real pain in the ass. What happened to Sasuke anyway? What didn't happen to Sasuke is the real question. Well, if we're gonna be facing opposition, I'm gonna need to request a team composed exclusively of Jonin and Chunin. Can't honor that request. What? What? And why not? They're gonna send all the kids. Oh my gosh. The opening. The opening. They're gonna send a bunch of kids. Go round up any skilled Genin you feel are up to the job. You have 30 minutes to leave this. Group. I do it. Oh, I do it. Oh my gosh. I have chills. Oh my gosh, I feel like I need to rewatch that scene. Oh my gosh. It's a drag, but I do know the guy, so I can't just let it go. Well, that's just the way it is, I guess. She, um, ah, ah. There is one person I strongly recommend you include. Naruto? Hey. Naruto? Yeah. <laughs> Sasuke, you jerk. My words exactly. Wake up, will ya? You said top notch guys, right? <laughs> Plan B, I guess. <laughs> He's gonna, it's Choji, isn't it? We're gonna lure Choji out with a bag of chips. Now. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. Shino can't do it. He's off on some special mission with his father right now. Hey, wait, not them too. Yep, they're on the team. <laughs> Come on, Naruto. They're all your friends, technically, in the end. Sounds like an interesting job. All I the boys. Early to walk the dog pays off sometimes. Hey, Shikamaru, is there anybody else? Neji, he was in the opening. He was in the opening. If we don't run across anybody else on our way out of the village, I suppose it'll just be us. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I heard that it went well. <gasps> Yay! <gasps> oh, I'm so happy. Yes, I understand. Oh, yeah, it's kind of look a at their best the besties. The better, so. Oh, and Lee probably wants to go. Why now, of all times? Oh, I do it. Oh, this is already super stressful. You do what you must do. Wow, he's really bellowed out. Tomorrow, I think I will try climbing these steps by myself. Lee. I will be fine. You go on without me. Ah, oh, Lee, you're the best. <laughs> oh, I love when the taiko drums kick in. Yes. Oh, the anime opening is coming to fruition. Oh. I got five. It's still not gonna be easy because technically you're all getting. 
well, no, Shikamaru is not a Genin, but I still, still, why? Why did they choose a bunch of Genin? I know it's probably because they couldn't spare anybody else because they they don't have enough people, but like, ugh. If that's the case, then perhaps you should start coming up with some sort of a plan. From what I heard, Sasuke's gone to the enemy, and there's a real chance they could ambush us. Well, for starters, this is a rescue operation, so we'll be in the position- A rescue operation? He doesn't want to be rescued! He made this decision himself. That said, I'm arranging us in a deployment formation that can respond to any assault by the enemy. If any of you don't follow my exact orders, we're all gonna die. Oh, gosh. <laughs> okay, we'll go with a single file strike formation. The middle of the line is the perfect location for you because you're the most capable of executing quick moves either in front of you or behind you. You're the cornerstone, and you have the shadow clone jutsu. Aw, I really love this assessment. He's really knows his people. Finally, on the end will be you, Neji. Your position is most difficult. Rear lookout. I want you to use your Byakugan to constantly scan ahead for weakness in our ranks. I just noticed that this is lined up like his game that he's always playing. Kiba watches the front. I'm responsible for a wider forward view. Naruto's got the left. Choji the right. And Neji, using your Byakugan. I'm sorry. I love his little sketch. They're so cute and tiny. That's not important right now, but... For as long as I've known him, Sasuke and I haven't exactly been close buddies. In fact, I don't really like him at all. Whoa. <laughs> Me either. Sorry. He has an attitude issue. Run into the hidden leaf village. He's a comrade, and I'll put my life on the line to help him. That's the way of our village. I know I usually seem like a pretty lazy guy, but not today. Oh, I'm responsible for your lives too. Oh, Shikamaru. Oh. Wow. I never thought I'd see Shikamaru acting like a chuni. Well, he is a chuni, Kiba. This is the one time I can request. Just bring him home. Please bring Sasuke back to me. I did everything I could. I don't know how to feel about that. I know that I said that I don't really like Sasuke, and that's because as an adult, <laughs> I think his attitude is problematic. I guess if I think about middle school me, I can understand why people like him so much. At the same time, I'm just like, I don't understand her request because he didn't belong to her, so she can't say to bring him back to her. I don't know. Naruto, thank you so much. Don't you worry one bit. I'm gonna bring Sasuke back. I promise that on my life, Sakura. You can't, you can't promise that on your life because now I, he, he might not even come back because he's so set on revenge. Always been there. But also, I, I love you, Naruto, so much. Oh, oh, he's putting on a brave face. little interruption cost us some time. Let's get moving. Right! <laughs> I'm honestly surprised they're not running if they lost so much precious time. Did you see Naruto give you the thumbs up when he made that promise? That means he will do it. I can... Oh. <laughs> That's so cute! He's thinking about Naruto the same since he thinks about Guy Sensei. Oh, Lee, you are too precious. Too precious for this world. Uh, and then we go in on the doom and gloom. Great. Orochimaru gave us a very important task to take care of when we reach this point. You gonna tell me what we have to do or not? Uh oh. I don't like those smirks and those evil little laughs. If 
Before we go any further, I'm afraid you must die just this once. What? What? <sighs> That's how they're ending? Rude! Rude! Okay. First of all, I have questions because if they're going to kill him, does that mean that they're actually going to rescue him and he's not going to go on the road tomorrow? Because that would be great. But then I think about the fact that everything that everyone's been saying, I'm just like, mm, no, I don't know. I don't know. <sighs> okay, now that I got that out of the way, I just want to backtrack just a little bit. Again, it's not that I don't like Sasuke. I just think he's a slightly problematic character. I, I, and maybe not problematic. I just... I, maybe I should just ask what, what people love about Sasuke, why people like Sasuke, hopefully without spoilers, because I don't really understand why people love Sasuke so much. Maybe it's because I didn't watch this as a kid, because I mean, maybe if I watched this when it was coming out, I probably would have loved Sasuke, but since I'm watching this older and I see how mean he is, and it's not that I don't like characters that are like mean in other animes that are have like you know like oh what, what am i looking for like angry boy type characters like i have plenty of characters that i love that are you know the angry got a chip on their shoulder type of characters but i don't know i just i find that sasuke as powerful as he is and as traumatic as his life has been like i don't really see his redemption if he's even gonna have one i mean i guess he will because he eventually marries sakura which means he eventually has to come back to the village even i don't know i don't know i just have so many <laughs> questions i'm so confused but again sakura i uh, uh, i don't you can't tell somebody to bring him back to when he was never you're not dating also, you're 12. You're not together. You can't have them bring him back to you. Have them bring him back to the village. But I appreciated Naruto being so supportive and understanding that Sakura doesn't like him that way, that she likes Sasuke, and he's gonna promise to bring him back, but also because they're best friends. They're never gonna say that they're best friends, but they're best friends. And also he's mad at him for turning his back on the leaf village, but he's also mad at himself for saying those things and then them turning out to be true. So, Ugh. But on a totally random side note, finally find out about Lee. I'm so glad he's okay. His surgery went well. He's going to start terrating again. I just, you know, I can't wait to see him back in action again. I'm like, I'm so giddy. I'm so excited because Lee is precious and my baby my favorite character i love him i'm so glad that he's okay now well okay ish i'm sad that he can't go on this mission which i am really impressed with shikamaru which i was kind of already impressed from his battle with tamari but it was it's just so interesting to see him again in action and like like the way his brain is thinking and how they set up everything like the game that he's always playing which i'm sure i know the name of it but i can't think of it at the moment but I love his critical thinking. I even love that Lee commented in his mind about his critical thinking about this mission. And again, I was just, my mind was blown when I thought about it. And I was like, wait a second, that's that part in the opening. That's what's going to happen. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm like <laughs> over the moon about this mission in a sense, because we're finally going to get to see like, maybe Choji in action because we didn't really get to see him in action at all in the Chunin exams and we're gonna you know get to see Kiba who kind of irks me because of how much he eggs on Naruto all the time and like you know what that's fine and we're gonna get to see you know more about Shikamaru and being a team leader and yes we're gonna get to see Neji and hopefully I mean already his attitude just towards Lee and their best friendship over there is just already leaps and bounds better than where he was when we last saw him before he had that whole like basically before he had a change of heart before Naruto showed him that we are in charge each in charge of our own destiny and so I'm really excited to get to see more about these other characters that we don't normally get to see anything about 
uh, but also <laughs> super nervous about what's to transpire between Sasuke and these creepy sound ninja. Because at the end of the day, even if Sasuke makes me have questions, I still, I don't want him to die. I don't want him to suffer more than he's already suffered because he's suffered so much. But at the same time, I just don't know how to feel. I don't know what to do, pals. I, I feel like I might have just thrown out some fighting words about Sasuke, but I just, I don't know. I feel so confused and I just need somebody to help me know how I'm supposed to feel. <laughs> All right, well, if you've made it this far, thank you so much for continuing to watch and let me know in the comments below, if you so choose, how I'm supposed to be feeling right now. <laughs> but in the meantime, thank you so much for watching and following me on this Shinobi journey again. I super, super appreciate it. And until next time, bye.